Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. I thought I would film a video showing you guys how I pack my makeup for travel. I get so many questions, what I use, what I bring, how I pack it, do I carry it on, do I check my makeup? I'll give you the answer right now. I do not check my makeup. There's been a few times where I have checked it, but for the most part, I always carry my makeup on because I just can't risk it, you know? It's like, there's certain things that I just need to have and I know I can't get, especially if I'm in other parts of the world. So I always put my makeup in my carry-on. It just so happens that I'm going on a trip in a couple of days and I'm so, so excited. I'm going to Ibiza. Is that how you say it? Ibiza. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be packing all of my more tropical makeup, things that I like to wear when I'm, you know, doing beachy things. Let's go ahead and get right into my makeup bag. Boom, this is the makeup bag that I travel with. It is my absolute favorite. I've been using it over and over and over again, and it just has the best compartments, and I will link everything down below. If you don't bring that much makeup, there's another makeup bag that I have that I'll travel with, and let me show you guys that one. Excuse me. This is another makeup bag option, which I really, really like, and this is in collaboration with It's Judy's Time, and it's sold at Walgreens. It's really, really nice because it has little compartments, so you can put all of your tools or your palettes. I like that it has little holders here. I usually carry all my liners and stuff like that. And then there's an empty pouch here, which I'll put my palettes. This bag is tiny but mighty, okay? You open the zipper and you have this really, really deep container where you can just have all your floating things, which I really like. Everything fits in it and you can really shove all the stuff in there and jam pack it if you need to But it also like just looks really small coming back to this makeup bag This is definitely my main bag what I like about this especially with traveling if you are checking your makeup This is a lot more firm. So if people throw it around which I know happens I'm always like really nervous about that but if that happens it's very much protected okay and when you open it up it is compartmentalized it comes with little dividers you can customize all of your sizing and again I like that this is a little more stiff because it'll protect my makeup better I also love that in the flap here there is an area for all of your brushes or you can put all of your liners uh, mascaras things that are shaped like that. And then there's also a zipper here, which fits, like my whole arm is in here. Mm. Hello. Now that I've showed you guys the goods, let's start filling it up with everything that I pack and how I pack it, okay? When traveling, it's always good to pack palettes. And the reason I love palettes is because you can really narrow down everything. We all know I love my neutrals and bronze shades. So I'll typically take one palette, either something like this that has all of those tones or my custom palette that has all of my deep potted eyeshadows. This is kind of the one I've been using for neutral tones lately. I'll bring another palette that has some brights. Let's be real, okay. I am wearing no brights on my vacay. That's just not my vibe. This is a Morphe blush palette that I've been using. It's the 8W. And like I said, it has a lot of different tones depending on how you're feeling. It's all in this one palette instead of bringing a bunch of different compacts. And of course, this is something I travel with literally everywhere I go. It is my favorite cheek topper, this color right here. I love this so much. For vacations, this is just so beautiful. It gives you a nice flushed, glowy cheek look. Another palette I've been using, which I'm gonna be packing with me, is another Morphe palette. This is the 8H. This has so many different color bronzers, contour powder, and four different colored highlights. I know that right here, I have pretty much everything I need for the face. What we're gonna do with those, I just like to start taking them and sliding them in here, and you could fit so many palettes in here, it's insane. Like they just keep, keep going. And then I just kind of zip that up. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes. I always pack my makeup according to how I apply it. That way I don't forget anything. So I'll start with the first thing I use. My MAC strobe cream goes with me everywhere. I love this. It just gives your skin a really nice glowy look. Boom, we're gonna put it there. 
And then we have MAC Fix Plus. We're gonna put that in there. Now we're gonna go into foundation. I'll be using Lancome and NARS. And I know a lot of people are worried about carrying on fluids. As long as the ounces are under three fluid ounces, it's totally fine to carry it on. If you wanna put them in Ziploc bags to be a uh, A plus student, then do so. I definitely never do and I don't get caught up, but that's what they would like you to do. So, you know, do what you will. Next, I'll pack some of my glow products. This is just one I've been loving. It's the Bobbi Brown All Over Glow. Let's put that in there. The Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, amazing under foundation, kind of like a primer. Contour stick, this is also from Lancome, it's actually foundation, but I'm gonna bring that there because you never know how tan you're gonna get on your vacation. And if you have something that's slightly darker than your skin tone, not only can you use it to bronze, but you could also use it to mix into your other foundations and you know match your newly tanned body to your Concealers. These are the concealers I've been using right now. Oh my God, surprise, surprise, I've changed it up on you. My NARS concealer, which I haven't used in so long and I've actually been using it, and my new Dior concealer that I've been loving. So we're just gonna put those in there. I like to keep all the face liquids in one area. So next we're moving into powders. This is the translucent powder I'm gonna be bringing. It's the Peach Perfect Too Faced powder. So I just kinda that there. This is a Makeup Forever banana powder. It's just nice and brightening. I'm gonna put that right there as well. And then of course, you know, you can't leave the house without your Fuego and Mirame by Dose of Colors. So I'm packing Mirame with me on the trip. Boom, okay, right there. Oh wait, there's Fuego, okay. I'm not leaving without Fuego at all. And what's nice is that usually, if I don't have palettes, you can fill all of this with blushers whatever you want, but since I have all the palettes, look at all the space I got. This is something I pack with me. It's actually a candle holder. I got it at Michael's Craft Store, and I use this as a mixing plate for my foundation. So if I wanna do a pump of glow, pump of foundation, I don't have to use the back of my hand. I could just put it on this when I travel, and it just works for me. So I'll always find a place for that, just, or you could just, you know, I don't know, boom. Lashes, you always wanna make sure to bring lashes. Um, I'm gonna be getting lash extensions, so I'm not gonna bring a lot, but on the nights that I wanna feel extra frisky, okay, and get buck wild, I might need an extra lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack those. We can customize this however, so let's just make a space for lashes right here because we gotta like that. Now I like to have all my brow stuff. Brows are very, very important. This is actually my soap that I use because you know I like to do soap brows. If you haven't seen my soap brow YouTube tutorial, I will link it down below. But soap is the best thing to tame brows. And I just put it in this way mint holder so that it's like not all over the place. Then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my brow products. These are my Benefit Foolproof and my Cabral. I like to bring this on vacations especially because if I'm gonna be in the water, I need my brow to also stay in the water with me and on my face in general. So this is pretty waterproof and then I'll set it with the powder and it's just like, you are locked down, okay? Of course, I always have to bring a brow pencil because sometimes brow pencils are just the way to go. They're fast, they're easy. You can do quick touch-ups, throw it in your bag. This is my Kat Von D brow pencil. I love this pencil so much. Boom. Since I have so much space in the brow section, I'll usually pack my tools with my brow stuff. For example, my scissors. You need scissors. I always have those in there, and I've never had problems carrying that on. My chapstick. This is my Bobbi Brown chapstick because... You know, you gotta hydrate those lips. Tweezers, don't forget tweezers. They're very important for tweezing things and also applying my lashes. A lash curler, a must for me, especially on tropical trips because when I don't wanna wear makeup, I just kind of curl my lashes and it makes a huge difference. This is something else I bring with me in my makeup bag. It's my Color Wow. If you guys have sparse hairline or you just wanna wear your hair up in a tight, Slick back look, you know how sometimes there's like, you can see your scalp through it in certain areas when you slick it back really tight? This is just a powder that fills all that in so that it looks super full and nice. 
Another glow product that I forgot to add in my face products is my Iconic London Original Glow. I will put that right there. Almost forgot, I also keep my mascara in the brow section and my gel liner. This is my Inglot gel liner. Now I wanna pack my beauty blenders. I always bring a regular size beauty blender and then my mini, and this is for like detail work. Put them in a Ziploc bag like this. It's good to carry a beauty blender cleaner with you as well so that you can clean your beauty blender after every use. And then I just pop it anywhere. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot my lash glue. That also goes in the tools. Now it's time for lips. I will put all my favorite lipsticks in just this section right here. This is my Dose of Colors Desi X Katie uh, over the top gloss favorite and it just goes over everything. I'll just take a nude lipstick or like three, four, five nude lipsticks. We have more creamer please. And then I have both of Shayla's lipsticks from her collab with ColourPop, which I love. I have, ooh, for a more tropical corally lip and then quickie for you know another nude because I have to have multiple nude options and then I like to bring one bright or a couple brights but usually I typically go for red so I always bring a red lipstick just in case and since I'm packing for a tropical trip I'm not gonna bring too many individual shadows but if I was going on a more brand based trip where I wanted to really like show out with my makeup I would also then pack in here Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner because you can kind of jazz up the look with that. It's always good to bring one product that can jazz up your whole look really easily and it can kind of work with any colors. Now for all of our pencils. These are lip liners, eyeliners, liquid liners, things that are in pencil form. This is kind of where I put all of these pencils and I make sure to have them facing up so that I can see what everything is. I'll keep all my lip liners together and then all my eyeliners together. You can put your brushes in here if you want. I usually don't, I just put all my liners. You could also put glitter liners in here, shadow sticks, whatever tickles your fancy. There's a flap over it so that it covers your brushes if you're doing that. Then we just close it up and we are all packed. Everything is nice and organized in here. What's really nice about the system is I'm never rummaging through my things when I get to my destination. It's all compartmentalized, so it stays that way when I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes, okay, because I'm pretty messy. Let me just show you what else, excuse me. Then I will pack all my brushes in a brush container just like this. This is Makeup Forever. There's a lot of companies that make them. It's just really nice because close it up, they stay nice and clean. And then when you get to your destination, you just open it up and you can separate your brushes between face brushes and eye brushes and they stay standing up. So it's just really easy to, you know what I mean? Lastly, if you are a makeup lover and you do full glam on your vacations, it's always nice to have something with a light because when you get to the hotel, you're about to see my camera, okay? It's Inception. This is a mirror I just started using. I got it from Glamcore. It's so awesome because it turns on and the light gets like really, really, really bright. Extremely bright. Way more bright than the last light I was using. It wasn't as powerful. It's perfect for makeup. What's great is it comes with a little stand and the stand is adjustable. It comes in its own little pouch too. You just fold it all up. It's not bulky at all. It's battery operated and you have your light just in case. Hotels can be dark, they can play you. Uh, you don't wanna take those chances. Pack it up, also put it away in your carry on. And that is it, you guys. That is how I pack my makeup when I travel. I hope this video was helpful. I know there's a lot of questions as to like what you can bring on the flight, what you can't bring. This is just how I do it and I've never had any problem, but I've never had an issue packing my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you later. Bye. Somebody get Steven off the set. He's acting crazy. I'm... <laughs> Okay, oh, we have a caller on line one. When, whoa, that is a very, hello. You know, I can only do so much, okay?